create a dormer roof, all we need to do is use the dormer roof tool within Caddy 16. So let's take a look at how we can achieve our desired results. Here we can see we have a dormer roof. We can actually see through the roof there, through the window, to the room below. So here's our basic model, and we have an AEC roof. Now if we can create the dormers onto an AEC roof. Having said that, we won't be able to cut a hole into it. Here to do that, we will need to convert it to roof slabs. So in the AEC tool, so there's the AEC tab there, roofs, convert to roof slab, erase the original roof slab, we now have individual roof slabs, which we can break into using this four stairs and railings. We can see we can create a hole into a slab there. So going back to our, our model there, what we can do is look at where we wish to locate it. Let's go to top view, so view and top and so we can actually see through we'll go to a wireframe view. Now if we wish to locate the dormer with the front face actually or the window actually on the wall then we could snap to a point here. If we want to locate it elsewhere maybe we could set up construction lines. So if we just drop a construction line in here um, maybe go 500 millimeters back, just doing 500 millimeters and using the up arrow, or we could have used the parallel tool, and then dropping in a center line, and we can drop it on the center there, so we have our locating point. So going to our AEC tools now, we can select roof and dormer. This is where we choose the roof type, so we have various options here, hit gable, flat and mono pitch roof, I'm going to select gable, the roof pitch, uh, the fascia depth, the overhangs, so it's all fairly self-explanatory. The head height is the head height of the window as relating to our locating point, which is uh, the UCS of the, uh, uh, the world here in this particular instance. We have the height of the window down from that head height and the width of it and then the style of window that we're going to include. So let's have a look at what we can do um, placing our dormer and there we see we've just got the thickness of the uh, the dormer itself in terms of the the walls. Okay to that we pick our locating points so as indicate the position for the front face of the dormer so we'll pick our point there and it says indicate the roof and then you'll see that it's actually drawn out the, the roof for us and as we move into a 3D view we can actually see that it's uh, placed the dormer on the roof going back to a fong shaded view there uh, we can see actually through our model to the room inside uh, all the objects are individual objects which you can tailor you can amend so if you want to uh, to change the height for instance then you can do that so if we change that to 900 you'll see that the model will update.